All right guys, so in the last video, I showed you how nice the interior was, and then I went ahead and took the interior apart. All right guys, so I took apart the gauge cluster uh, in order to fix the broken speedometer cable. It actually wasn't even broken, it was a new speedometer cable, it just was uh, put together wrong. So uh, while I had it out, I noticed that the gauges are in pretty rough shape. This speedometer assembly is kind of faded and it, the speedometer doesn't work. Um, looks like someone tried to like color it with a Sharpie and didn't do a very good job. Um, but anyway, so this stuff was kind of faded and with the speedo not working, I wanted to see, I thought maybe it was the speedometer cable, but the speedometer cable actually uh, looks pretty new. So I pulled it off uh, and then I went to check the rear of the speedometer assembly and everything looks pretty good. Um, and then I gave it kind of a good quick spin. And as you can see, the speedometer actually does work. So then what I did is I went through and I checked where the speedometer cable actually goes into the transmission. And um, the gear that goes into the uh, transmission actually is kind of worn out and flattened. So, so that's an issue. I have to get a new gear. Not a huge deal. Those are relatively cheap, readily available. So I'm going to change that. So I'm gonna get that stuff taken care of and get it put back in the car. But what I actually did while I had it out um, is ordered some new gay instrument cluster backing and stuff. I to just get this, you know, replacement stock backing, but for some reason it's pretty hard to find. Um, so what I went ahead and did was I ordered a set off of AmericanMuscle.com and it is a white set and I believe it's called Reverse illumination or something so it's all white but then at nighttime when you turn the lights on it will turn the whole face black except for uh, the numbers and stuff so uh, white face reverse glow gauges um, they were about 40 bucks I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the car I for some reason couldn't find any stock replacement black um, gauges so uh, these are gonna go in looks fairly straightforward um, so uh, let's go ahead and get to this. All right, so I tried to show uh, like a time lapse of me doing it. This thing is just way too difficult. It, not even difficult. It's just annoying to get everything in here because of the way the gauge cluster is and the way these... Um, <clears throat> These overlays are set up, but I will say for 40 bucks, this thing is absolute trash. Like I should have just left everything in there. The, the annoyance that I went through having to trim things, this plastic piece is so brittle. It's cracked in a whole bunch of spots that are luckily going to be hidden. But to be honest, if you're considering getting something like this, just keep what you got in the car because it's not worth it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stick it back in the uh, car now. All right, guys, so I got the gauge clusters installed back in the car. I got to go get some um, butt connectors so I can um, wire in the uh, switch. But I ended up drilling a hole to put the dimmer switch right here. Um, so I'm going to run to the auto parts store, get some uh, butt connectors for this. Go ahead and tighten it all back up and then throw it back together and we'll see how it looks finished. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like inside the car. I mean, it doesn't look too bad now that I got it all back together. Um, what I don't like about this kit is the middle portion right there is just a sticker that goes over the existing piece that's there. Other than that, I mean, I had to do some filing and stuff. And like I said, that little plastic piece that goes around the outside just, I mean, it just got tore up and cracked up and it was really, uh, really annoying. But uh, anyway, aside from that, like I said, I put a, um, let's see if I can, there you go. So this is the dimmer switch for um, the gauges. So once I actually get the car all hooked up, uh, battery hooked back up, we'll be able to see, you know, how these, uh, how the lights actually work. But I mean, improvement, over, it is an improvement over the, uh, the black uh, gauges that were there. So here's the gear that I was talking about that goes inside the uh, transmission. And as you can see, the end of it is pretty worn out. Uh, you can see it right there real bad, it's like all crushed. So uh, this is really, basically when the uh, gear in the transmission is actually spinning, it wasn't grabbing these at all or spinning it. 
Uh, it was just, you know, sitting there. Plus, aside from it being installed inside the uh, gauge cluster rung, uh, that was also adding to it, so. But when I spin the gear, you can see the speedometer moving. So we know the speedometer works. I just have to get that new gear. I'll eventually order it. I'm not really too worried about it right now. Anyway, guys, one of the things I left out of the last video is the intake manifold that I ended up getting. We're going to be running the Trick Flow R Series intake manifold. And this is actually the intake manifold with the 90 millimeter throttle body opening. We aren't gonna be running a 90 millimeter throttle body on this car right now, but I wanted to get the 90 millimeter so that way in the future, uh, if I do some sort of forced induction like a turbo or something, I can go with a 90 millimeter. For now, I ordered a 75 millimeter uh, adapter and we're gonna run a 75 millimeter throttle body. So we aren't gonna be using the full potential of the intake manifold, but it leaves us a lot of room for improvement. So these will pair nicely with those uh, Blueprint 190cc heads that we got. And to be honest too guys, I won't lie, I really like the way this intake manifold looks and it played a really big part in me um, buying this. Uh, so I wanted to make sure, obviously I got an intake that was sufficient for the 331 Stroger build, uh, sufficient to grow, but then also I really like the way it looks. So I'm sure there's a better intake out there that I could have got, but um, you know, this is, uh, this is just the one I wanted. So this is what we're gonna go with. All right guys, so that is where we're at with the car right now. Got a lot of parts on the way, some uh, fuel system stuff like injectors, regulator. Um, what else did I got coming? I don't know, I got a, I got a bunch of stuff coming. Um, big thing, obviously waiting on the machine shop. Aside from that guys, I got a few uh, stuff. I got some stuff to tighten up on this intake manifold and put some sealant on. Just kind of busy work uh, since I really have nothing since I'm waiting right now. Like I said, hopefully next video I can be putting the engine together but it all depends on the machine shop. The guy told me it'd be done this week. So hopefully by the time you see this video, I will actually have an answer or have uh, the parts back already. So anyway guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I have a whole playlist that I put together if you wanna follow the build from the beginning, I'll link a card in for it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and take care and we'll see you on the next one.